So Apple just unveiled their brand new Siri-enabled speaker, aka HomePod, but during the announcement I couldn't help but think to myself, didn't they already do this? This is Apple's first home audio device, the iPod Hi-Fi. Announced in 2006 by Steve Jobs, the Hi-Fi was a speaker system with a built-in dock designed for iPods using what was then the cutting edge technology of its time, 30 pin. Now looks wise, this was built to match Apple's design aesthetic, which back then was mostly gloss white. Now because the Hi-Fi was designed for iPods, it came with every adapter you would need to connect, but on the back there was also an aux input, so just in case you wanted to be a rebel, you could also connect your Zune. What kind of made the iPod Hi-Fi unique though is yes, you could plug it into a wall to power it up just like the HomePod, but unlike the HomePod, the iPod Hi-Fi had built-in handles. And the reason why it had these is you could actually also power this through the batteries. So Apple at the time must have had some crazy vision of people rocking this outside in public. <laughs> Now when comparing the iPod Hi-Fi against the now current HomePod, things get a little crazy. First, the announcements were scary similar. They stressed audio quality. A ported bass reflex design. So you can see the ports coming right out the front. We get great bass out of this thing and it doesn't distort when you crank it up. That's automatic bass equalization and dynamic software modeling so that as we turn the volume up, it's free from distortion. And then in classic Apple fashion, how current products aren't meeting people's needs. But the problem with these products is that none of them really offer home stereo quality. Others have worked to make smart speakers that you can talk to. They don't sound so great when you listen to music. Where it gets super crazy though, and I kid you not, the iPod Hi-Fi was released at the exact same price as the current HomePod, $349. Really more in the iPod economy space at $349. That HomePod is going to be priced for $349. So it's pretty clear, the iPod Hi-Fi and the HomePod have a ton in common, and that got me thinking, could I turn the original iPod Hi-Fi into a HomePod? Now fair warning, this is in no way practical and anyone in their right mind should not try this, but for science, let's do it. So clearly hooking up something like an Echo Dot to an external speaker is the simplest and most practical way to do things, but we are not looking for practical. So the goal here is to get Siri working through the iPod Hi-Fi. And the first thing I tried was this very cheap, inexpensive Bluetooth 30-pin adapter. I thought it would look cool. I thought it would match this and kind of keep that 30-pin vibes going. The problem is though, which you will see shortly after I connect and listen to this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sound. That's quality. Music will play through the iPod Hi-Fi, but if you notice, hey Siri, tell me a joke. So the problem was not the joke, it was the fact that the audio came through the phone and not the speaker. But I have one more backup plan, the MPOW right angle adapter. I think that aux connector here is gonna help bring this home. Pod. <sighs> oh well, we'll keep that. So out is this 30 pin disaster. In is the MPOW. Hey Siri, tell me another joke. It works! It's kind of loud. Whoops. Is it supposed to pop? Hey Siri, tell me another joke. Jonathan, I don't really know any good jokes. None, in fact. So it kind of sounded like this punched me in the stomach, but sound definitely came through this. It's not the smoothest or the easiest way, but we got Hey Siri working through the iPod Hi-Fi. Now it is time for the music test. Hey Siri, play every day, bro. I'm kidding. No! Ah! Siri jokes are one thing, but music is another. Hey Siri, play Whitney Meyer, I'm the one. Volume works. Oh, it gets loud. Really, 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 really loud. 
So that was about 60% volume. Honestly, I'm a little scared to turn this to 100. It might blow my ears right off. It was way, way louder than I thought it would be. And it also sounded better than I assumed it would be, especially for a product that was announced way back in 2006 and then quickly discontinued in 2007. So is this practical? Absolutely not. But what do I know? Maybe you happen to have one of these iPod Hi-Fi's laying around your homes. I am looking at you, Detroit Borg. Now all you gotta do is add a very simple, inexpensive Bluetooth adapter and you can turn your iPod Hi-Fi into a HomePod. Kinda. Yeah, I did that. <laughs>